Today I bring you another tale from the hero known as 4chan. But the hacker known as 4chan was partying hard after having yet another successful batch of tendies mm -mm -mm, from his loving mom. He went on his computer, as he normally does, to look at the news, his battle station, he dug right in. And that's when he heard about Chaz, the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone that had been taken over by Antifa and Black Lives Matter. A cop-free co-op with food and supplies. Signs in Capitol Hill declare this area an autonomous zone. I think it means a lot of things, an anti-racist zone. Everything in the autonomous zone is free right now. It's free right now. And in that moment, the hacker known as 4chan had a brilliant idea. He knew just what he needed to do to epically troll the autonomous zone. Introducing Operation Homeless, a 4chan operation. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, and today on 4chan, here we are on the politically incorrect image board, poll, and here you can see the following. Anonymous says, Operation Homeless, and they attach the following picture which I will read to you. Here it says in the corner, Black Lives Matter, and on the left, Chaz welcomes all homeless people. So Chaz is the unofficial short name for the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone, and although the origins of this name remain somewhat of a mystery, when they say Chaz, they mean the Autonomous Zone. Here Annan says, The goal is to flood Chaz with homeless people, obnoxious, non-politicized schizophrenics who will F their ass up, eat all their food, get drunk, get high, and pee and defecate wherever they please, etc. This would put Chaz in a position of having to either enforce borders and develop an immigration policy. This naturally implies a hierarchy and other fun stuff that Antifa will surely appreciate. Keck. Now this would be absolutely hilarious because as I covered in a previous story, Black Lives Matter and Antifa from this Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone have released a list of demands about what they want from the government when this is all over. And on their list includes an end to borders and free nationalization for all undocumented immigrants. So by flooding Chaz with homeless people, this would force them to do what they claim to be against. And in continues, or, simply collapsing under the weight of uncontrolled immigration and lack of border controls. Check mate. Is this what you call four dimensional checkers? Plus there is nothing about this idea that is even remotely illegal or even immoral from an inclusive slash equality point of view, LOL. This is perhaps one of the greatest displays of 40 chess that I've seen in a very long time. The idea is very simple. 4chan wants to create lots of art to encourage homeless people to come to Chaz. Either way, Chaz will lose. So, there are anons in this thread that pitch in. One says, If you live on the West Coast, tell every homeless person you see. Tell them it's like the 60s, with free love, food, drugs, whatever. And in replies, Exactly. Also, do the homeless in the US have cell phones with internet access? This is the best way, in other than word of mouth for Annans actually in and around Seattle. Do the homeless in the US have homeless associations, or whatever the F with an online presence? If so, it's just a matter of inviting them to Chaz, where the food is free and there are no cops. So here you can see the following. Anonymous has posted a screenshot from Twitter. Here a user named Laura Co says, Alerta hashtag two. The homeless people we invited took away all the food at the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone. Wow, I never could have seen that coming. We need more food to keep the area operational. Please, if possible, bring vegan meat substitutes, fruits, oats, soy products, etc. Anything to help us eat. <laughs> ah, typical communism. Only two days and people are already starving. And in post this image of people attempting to farm in the autonomous zone, now as someone who loves gardening and the culture of life in general, I've got to tell you, this is probably the worst outdoor garden I've ever seen. And here you can see a reaction picture of absolute laughter. And that's exactly what I'm doing, laughing. Annan says, 
incompetence prevails. Annan replies, is, is the soil on top of cardboard? Annan replies, yes, and they're growing potatoes. <sighs> Needless to say, uh, potatoes are root, root plants, and uh, I don't think that's gonna end well for them. So they've already run out of food because of inviting in the homeless. If hacker 4chan pulls off this incredible move of four dimensional chess, then <laughs> Chaz, the autonomous Capitol Hill free zone, will certainly not last very long. In fact, it'll probably collapse very, very soon. It would be a shame if a bunch more people were to make art to invite more homeless people into Chaz. A real shame indeed. I'm going to blur the following details because it talks about 4chan summoning its weaponized autism to push these operations even further. But I mention it so that you will know that the hero known as 4chan, his work isn't done. Hero 4chan is just getting started. Here Anonymous discusses the idea of sending Antifa pizzas. He says, Antifa is hungry. Was for someone to send them 20 pizzas and just have them be crushed and nothing else. Updated idea is for someone to send them 20 pizzas and have 19 of them be crushed and nothing else. And one have toppings, thoughts? And most Anons say that this is probably a bad idea. I'm inclined to agree because even if you just send them bread, that's still bread. Bread, it's still food and it's still gonna feel them so if anything maybe send them empty pizza boxes <laughs> that would be hilarious what I think would be really funny would be if someone delivered a bunch of empty pizza boxes or boxes full of cardboard or something of course I'm not advocating for this but it would be rather amusing now a lot of Annans are also pointing out that the little garden that they came up with not only is it a bad idea because it usually takes an entire season, sometimes longer, for cardboard to start to rot, but they're also not planning enough food. Maybe they can feed like three people max, but it's certainly not gonna be able to feed them all. And Annan from Canada asks, why is Chaz run by whites? Annan replies, it's not. They have their very own African warlord. <laughs> I wish I was making this up. Like I wish this was made up, but it's not. The warlord running Chaz right now is a man known as Raz Simone, or something of the sort. Here is another meme image designed for people to spread around. This one has a white background to save on printer ink. Pretty ingenious. Here Annan has some advice. Print pamphlets. It would be more believable and hand them over to homeless areas and shelters. This action would require local Annans doing the work. Come on guys, you were able to make this Labeef cry before. This is nothing, an easier field work. And in response, they could even be posters. You wouldn't need to interact with people and would not be seen. Here one Annan says, make a fake email with something like sunlight therapy centers or new visions treatments in it. Google every homeless shelter in Seattle. Email them that poster. All you need is one college kid to post it on the shelter walls and within hours, all of our disposed homeless brethren will find a new utopia. <laughs> Another Annan mentions that they should probably mention the location of the autonomous zone on the posters and memes that they put up. But that's pretty much the story. Oh, our hero 4chan is at it again. And honestly, this operation seriously has the potential to completely and utterly destroy the Capitol Hill autonomous zone, AKA Chaz, once and for all. Will Hacker 4chan succeed in his 40 chess against the citizens of Chaz? Time will tell. But in the end, one thing is certain. Operation Homeless will certainly have amusing results. But that's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this story? Let me know down below in the comment section. Remember to subscribe to the channel as well. And if you want to support this channel and the content I produce, you can join me on Patreon or Subscribestar. If you want to donate, there's DonorBox and Bitcoin. Links are down below. But if that's not your style, I currently have the Deus Voot line on Redbubble. You can get the Deus Voot Knight t-shirt or the Deus Voot Knight sword. Both are available down below. And of course, if you like this video, consider sharing it on social media so that more people can see the epic chronicles of 4chan. As always, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all 
next time.